Like I remember when when Michal was diagnosed, um, you know, we would have kind of romanticised about our life before that. You know, when we moved down the country, you know, all this type of thing, and suddenly the rug was pulled from under us, and it, everything was every dream that we had then after that or plan it was always but what if and then when Michal did the test the what ifs realized you know themselves and then slowly as Michal started to develop symptoms um, I just started to realize oh my god the whole responsibility is now on me you know you have to become mother and father and mm. um, you have to become breadwinner and housewife and you, yeah we, oh yes doctor psychologist the list <laughs> goes on yeah. and you know the, the the children are dependent on you because you're the decision maker it was oh lifelong learning on mm. how to cope with all of this you know what's really amazing about that though is that like my dad and Michal are brothers and yeah. you know like I, I I know now it's not the case but when I was younger I was always amazed because like, I really thought that like just by the fact that they're in the same family they would kind of progress through the condition in a similar fashion but they could not be more different between the two of them. Now, the other thing that you've experienced so much well for me is loss and continued loss and grieving. I mean, you grieve from the day you get the result. Like I knew bit by bit by bit, I was losing a bit of me Yeah. And that is very, very difficult to deal with, you know, constant grief. And when something has happened, your heart will just turn.